Hi, welcome to Inventor 2017 sheet metal video tutorial. I want to convert this solid into a sheet metal model. And it's a little bit harder to do in Inventor because there's no such luxury command as in Siemens NX, SolidWorks and Solid Edge. So I want to go to this model and there are some more steps needed than in the other programs. So let's start and have fun with Inventor. So let's start with a normal part. I need a sketch maybe on the XY plane and this could look something like I'll just close it. Okay, give it some dimensions. This should be 60, this should be 60, this might be 50, this could be 150, and the midpoint of that line should be right there. Okay, finish the sketch and make an extrude, make it symmetric and make it 50 and confirm. Now let's save this part. Save and call this solid model to sheet. model and save it. Now I can close it and I need a new empty part and I want to derive from the just saved part. So go for derive, select this solid model to sheet model, open it and go for body as work surfaces. So you only will import the surfaces. Confirm. Make them translucent. Okay. Now to make things easier I will activate the option which I have usually disabled. So go for File Options to the sketch and activate if you haven't already activated it. Auto project edges for sketch creation and edit. Confirm. Then I would need a parameter. Make a new one, add numeric and call it uh, let's say breach, not gap size because gap size is already a parameter so I call it breach or let's say yeah breach size and let's go for right now one millimeter that's okay and done now I want to do some sketches on these surfaces so let's start with this one and the edges will be auto project it into my sketch. That's nice. So let's make them for construction only. And now make an offset and make this breach size. Finish this sketch. Go for another one on that surface and I have to repeat this step for ti five times. Okay, another offset again with breach size. Finish this one, make another one, start sketch on that surface
make an offset again again it's breach size I don't have to write it because it's already in the parameter list so next I will just select it okay another one it's a little bit hard to see so this one start sketch on that no that's okay yeah make an offset and make this list parameters breach size okay finish this sketch then another sketch on that surface again make it for construction make an offset again use breach size finish the sketch and I think one is missing the last one is right there another sketch on that surface again make it for construction only make an offset and make it again breach size finish this one now I should have six sketches on six surfaces yes now I could go for the faces but first I have to convert this to sheet metal so go for convert to sheet metal and go for default millimeter that's okay confirm and now I could do my faces so let's start make it to the outside that's okay apply make it always a new body that's the profile that's okay apply next profile new body apply new body profile to that direction apply and again new body profile apply and one is missing on top new body apply you could do these faces already with edges connected to the bottom surface but I think that's more convenient okay now I could do add some bends so go for bend and add one right here apply one over there and sometimes it doesn't work I'm not quite sure why but I could start the again apply then this one and that one see it doesn't work that's sort of strange but just restart it apply and from this edge to that edge again I cannot select it even it's see that's crazy but just restart another band okay and I need one over here and right here okay 
and now I could change this gap size, my gap size, with this parameter. So I could go for my breach size and reduce this one to 0 0.2, for example. And it's much smaller. And I can unfold like this. And you could hide the surface bodies. And you could go for a flat pattern. See? And go back to the folded part. So, if you want to see more Inventor Sheet Metal, give it a like down below. Give me a nice comment. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.